What's up, people of the community? This is Epic Dragon eighty one, and uh, I'm doing a let's play of uh, this of a PSP game called Patapon. Um, it's one of my favorite PSP games, so I'll show you guys what it is. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's a rhythm based game where you command these people using beats of drums, and this is your hero, and you can like change his class. Right now, I'm trying to level everything to level twenty. Um, yeah, I only have a few more to go. So I'll just show you some gameplay of it. So I'll choose choose someone from the archer class. Let's try, no, let's show you, let's take an example. Oh, let's show you this guy. Guy with a cannon. Let me change my other people. So you basically level them up to a certain level. They can fight better. Um, yeah, and for the PSP thing, I have, like, I'm using Remote Joy, um, took me forever to set it up, because I, I had to, like, uh, do some random stuff with my PSP, it was really weird. So, um, yeah, it took forever, but I got it to work, finally, but sadly, there's no sound coming from the computer, so I'm just gonna, you're just gonna have to hear it through the mic. Okay. Choose another guy. So hey, at the beginning, you choose you choose your uh, your people to command. Pretty simple. And this guy. So this is the archer guy. This is your archer guy, and he can only do archer classes. This is your uh, warrior. He can only do um, shield classes. Or yeah, shield classes. And this is your spear man, and he you can choose spear classes. Let's see and this is your hero and he can be any class so he can be e everything yeah he can be everything but you have to choose before the mission so and I'm just choosing some music here sure why not okay you can optimize them to full on to get like gear for everybody this is the hideout, the main base. You can play multiplayer right here. This is your armory. You can uh, you can level up your stuff, your items, your swords, your armor. This is your guild, basically. So I'm just in this random guild. Um, your barracks. That's where uh, that's where you um manage your equipment. Even though this is your uh, tower, he just tells you if there's any bosses or anything. This is your battle thing where you can do PvP against other people. It's just some random place. And this is where you start missions. Co-op missions and uh, choose a level. So for now I'll just uh, I'll just show you this one. Choose a quest. So it goes back to this screen. And you just start. There you go. This game seems like really complicated at first because of the controls and stuff, but uh, I'll teach how. I'll teach you. Um, it's really easy to learn. My mouse. I don't think you can see it. Well. Okay. So there's a rhythm, and those are the. Uh, you have to, you have to hit those like four notes and then rest for four. So. So that's the walk, and you just watch. Okay, so attack, circle, circle, square, circle. And yep, that's basically the attack. My guys are on fire. So I'm pretty sure you guys get the concept. You can do a charge attack by doing charge and then attack. And I just put all my warrior special attack, which is from that. Not sure why it's focusing on the guy on fire. And EXP by killing things. Oop. <laughs> Too busy talking. So I couldn't really. I lost my fever.
Yeah. Hopefully if this really works out, PSP thing, um, I can do a lot more PSP videos. Like maybe more help on Patapon if you guys want. That was great. Alright. Now we have to kill this dragon thing. Which won't be so hard. Shoot in the cannon. Shoot in the face. I'm gonna shoot this one in the face now. Shoot him in the face. There we go. I'm pretty sure that hit him right in the face. Snout. Whatever. Yeah, I already finished the main story mode because I'm just so I'm just like leveling up my people, just random levels to replay, like places to like uh, I don't know to get experience on. Oops. Now there's evasive commands too, so it's not just attacking. So if something's about to hit you. You do this. Circle, square, circle, square. And if something is gonna hit around, you just jump. So, it's very strategic. Like, you're gonna have to, like, plan your attacks out. And hopefully, you don't die. And as you can see from the top, uh, left. It shows, shows your um, people's stats. So that's useful if you need it. And at the top right, it shows your uh, your items that you picked up. And you get gear from those chests. So uh, every level has chests to pick up. So uh, I'm just gonna kill this building, the spawner. Oh, my screen left dark. I don't think the cannon guy is really good for this. For just killing one guy at a time. <laughs> With one cannonball. It's good for buildings though. And bosses probably. So I guess I'll play with another character. Probably a different class. And then... Yeah, I'll probably like try to play one from every class. Show you guys how different gameplay is. So I'm just gonna open my chests. So these chests give you random stuff. I hate the bunny hood, I don't know why it gave me one. Cause apparently when you optimize it normally puts the bunny hood on. And that's really, uh, it's like the worst thing ever. Cause it like, it. I don't know what it does, but I know the bad side which is, uh, it makes it so your person lights on fire, like by just touching it once. It lights your guy on fire, and it won't stop. So you're basically useless, so I'm gonna go sell that.